used formerly as protection for our eyes against the glaring sun, sunglasses nowadays might not even follow utilitarian principles, depending on who you ask. Now reflecting modernity, fashion, accessorization, glamour, and brand, sunglasses may even be the key to your outfit for the day. Whether worn inside or styled on top of your head, sunglasses are made to appeal. However, most of the time, we don't consider where they have come from. And we're not talking about what newest line of glasses you purchased them from, or the guy on the street you negotiated a $2 discount with. We're talking about the roots of the glasses, the manufacturing, the materials, the entire breadth of life cycle. Oh yeah, we know you're just checking out the broken bits once they're done for. We're not here to make you feel guilty though. We're here to make you aware. Quay, the Australian brand of sunglasses popular among Instagram influencers and Wall Street businessmen alike, blew up in the last several years. You and I both know those plastic rims and the balloon-sized cardboard packaging they come in aren't sustainable. We're talking petroleum extraction upon petroleum extraction. Separated into three key materials, polycarbonate, CR39, we know those as lenses, and the metal. Commonly found in the frames are all extensively sourced, extracted, refined, dyed, and assembled into what we wear as sunglasses. Or sunnies, as the Aussies like to call them. Either way, the carbon footprint is hefty. From the manufacturing of the sunglasses to the single-use packaging, all the way to the disposal once they're worn and torn, Quay sunglasses take a toll on the environment. And we're here to change that. By introducing a number of sustainable and biodegradable materials for Key's sunglasses, we not only reduce the carbon footprint of the production, but we're also introducing a new way of shopping for glasses, a personalized journey through sustainability. With a number of options for the frame material composition, we're launching the future of comfort and sophistication. Made from either recycled PET or plastic resins, bioplastics such as corn, glass, bamboo, cork, mycelium, eggshell clay, and food waste, the frames offer a variety of sustainable compounds with textures and materials like no other. Infused with natural dyes extracted from fruits and vegetables, the frames pave the way for the bold and unapologetic sunglasses we've all been waiting for. While the old key design includes metallic joints and screws in several of their glasses, we've eliminated that bridge and homogenized the frame into a singular material, decreasing the carbon footprint significantly. Rather than leaving a trail of polycarbonate and CR39, Glass as the replacement material for the lenses reduces the emittance of CO2 while implementing an infusion of natural dyes for safe UV protection. The focus on these two materials allow for modularity when the glasses no longer fit your wardrobe. By taking these pieces apart and either biodegrading them or recycling them, the life cycle of the glasses are stretched into something spectacular. Let's go back to the frame materials and dive into a few options. Bamboo might just be the perfect natural building material for both single-use objects and pieces you keep for generations. It's abundant and grows rapidly with the benefit of a sound and durable structure. Bamboo is one of the most eco-friendly materials on the planet with its rate of self-generation being incredibly high. And when it comes to discarding it, the natural bamboo can either be reused or disposed of in a composting bin. Cork is very similar. Cork is a natural, sustainable, renewable, and as good for the environment as we can imagine a material to be. When the cork is harvested, the trees aren't cut down. Instead, their bark is carefully stripped away by hand. As for the disposal, cork can go straight into the recycling bin. Mycelium, another incredibly sustainable material, is mainly composed of natural polymers such as chitin, cellulose, and proteins, making it a natural polymeric composite fibrous material. Due to its unique structure and composition, the mycelium-based material for the frame is easily durable and subsequently biodegradable. Let's now unpack the wonders of food waste-based materials. Incorporating crushed eggshells into a ceramic structure means a whole new world of natural clays. Repurposing food waste as an alternative material introduces a multifaceted structure of the materials we obtain and create. Wearing what we've biodegraded gives a pair of sunglasses a whole new meaning. As an alternative to the non-sustainable packaging the sunglasses come in, two materials that don't objectively cost the earth find their way into the design. The packaging of the sunglasses consists of two components, the case for the sunglasses and the shipping or supporting wrapping. 
Implementing cork as a substitute material for the case ensures durable and compact modularity for travel. As for the shipping and store packaging, the base material is seed paper, a special eco-friendly paper made from post-consumer materials embedded with wildflower, herb, or vegetable seeds. Right as you're about to throw away your single-use packaging your new pair of sunglasses came in, plant the paper in a pot of soil or outside in a garden, and the seeds in the paper will germinate and grow into plants. And, we can't fail to mention your receipt that's made out of the same seed paper you'll be adding to your home garden. Don't worry, we thought of everything, down to our name. Our name? Oko. Pronounced, spelled, and enunciated in numerous ways due to the numerous languages it is represented by. What does it mean? Eco. That's what we are. Eco-friendly, eco-conscious, eco-design. Oko. O. Oh. And we even bossed our logo rather than stamping it on with another unnecessary material, decreasing our carbon footprint once again.